maximum area and we are considering right triangle what is the largest possible area of a right triangle whose hypotenuse is 5 cm long and what are its dimensions so let's consider a right triangle and we know, know that hypotenuse is 5 let the base be x and height be y now in this case the relation will be x square plus y square equals to 5 and once we write down the e equation we should write what y is in terms of x so we get y square equals to 5 minus x square or y is equals to square root of 5 minus x square now from this equation we also get restrictions right so let me write down restrictions in a different ink if x is greater than 5 then we get something negative within the square root right so the restrictions are that x has to be greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 5 so that becomes our boundary conditions to check correct now now we need to maximize area of this triangle to maximize area, we can differentiate our function area and then find the maximum value. Now, area of triangle is what? Area of a triangle is half base times height. Right? So, so we can say area is equals to half of base is x for us and height is y for us. Now we can write what y is in terms of x and so we get half x times y is 5 minus or it's 5 square good we checked it minus x square right a square plus b square is c square so it is 5 square which is 25 so now you see this function is in terms of x so we have a of x equals to this now we have our function in one variable so at this stage what we can do is we can find derivative of the function with respect to x and then find the critical number so we have a of x equals to half x square root of 25 minus x square so what is a dash x we can apply the product rule so derivative of the first function will be half times the second function which is 25 minus x square plus derivative of the second function which is half 25 minus x square to the power of minus half times derivative of inside function which is minus 2x right so we can simplify this now we can take half and 25 minus x squared to the power of minus half as common factor right so then what are we left with let's see so we have half and here we have 25 minus x squared to the power of minus half now when you take this minus half you get here 25 minus x squared and here we have already taken this so we are left with minus 2x we did multiply by this half okay so we did derivative of the first second function but we didn't multiply by half of x so let's multiply by half of x so many mistakes half of x okay so we actually get from here uh, So 2 and 2 cancels and we get minus x square minus x square correct now for getting a critical number a dash x should be equal to 0 so let's equate a dash x equals to 0 that means this whole thing should be 0 now this can be 0 if 25 minus 2x square is 0 right this term is 0 since this is in denominator so this term should be 0 right now we can rewrite this once and then move on with this step so basically 
here we get 25 minus 2x square divided by 2 times square root of 25 minus x square square root. Now for this function to be 0, the numerator should be 0, correct? That's what I'm trying to say. So let's equate numerator to 0 and find the critical number. So we have 25 minus 2x square equals to 0. So that gives us the value 2x square equals to 25 and x will be equals to 25 over 2 square root which is 5 over square root of 2. So that is the critical number for us. So if x is 25 over square root 2, we can find what y is, right? So y will be equals to 5 square minus x square square root. 5 square is 25 minus this square, which is 25 over 2 square root, right? And that gives us a value, 25 times 2 is 50, 50 minus 25 is 25, and square root of 25 is 5. So we get 5 over square root 2 for y also, right? Now, to confirm that this is indeed a maximum, what we should do is, we should check the value of the function at its boundary condition, and at this, right? So area, when x is 0, is equals to? So we have this formula here, we, when we plug in 0 here, you get 0, right? So we get 0. Now the area, when a is 5, what do you get? 5 square minus 5 square will be 0, multiplying by anything else will give you 0. So that is also 0. So the value of this is indeed maximum and how much it is. So area, when x is 5 over square root 2, is equal to half x times y. We already have both the values. We can multiply them. 5 over square root 2 times 5 over square root 2. And that gives us an area of 5 times 5, 25 over square root 2, square root 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So that is the area in unit square which you get for the right triangle. And therefore, and this is more than 0, so this is the maximum area. And now we can write down our answer, which is for maximum area, what are the dimensions? So the dimensions are 25 over square root 2, 5 over square root 2. These are base and height, and hypotenuse given to us as 5 units over is a centimeter in our case, we'll write centimeter here and the area will be centimeter square, correct? So, so that is our answer. So I hope you understand the process. Let's go through it once again. So when we have a statement which says, what is the largest possible area? That means we're trying to find a critical number. We're also trying to find boundary conditions so that we can check whether it's really maximum or not of a right triangle whose hypotenuse is given to us as 5 centimeters long. And what are its dimensions? So now we know that the hypotenuse is given. We can relate it with the two sides of a right triangle using Pythagorean theorem. x square plus y square equals to hypotenuse square. Now from this equation, we should write our variable in terms of the other variable so that when we get an equation which is areas half base into height, it could be written in one variable as shown here. Then find the derivative of area. Maximize means find critical number. So derivative should be zero for critical number. Check the value of area for boundary conditions and the critical number and show that the critical number is maximizing the area. And then calculate your dimensions and write them in the answer. So that is the process to be followed. I hope you understand. Thank you and all the best.